Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate my dark tortoise shell nail look using gel products. As seen on my feed often, tortoise shell is a favourite amongst my clients, so if you want to learn how, just keep watching. So for this tutorial, you're going to be needing gel bottle in the colour chocolate, mocha, glass yellow in the shade G001 and marshmallow as well. Marshmallow is going to be used today to almost imitate the builder base that I use on all of my clients. You don't have to do this step. This is just like my base coat if you like. So now I'm just going to put quite a lot of glass yellow onto my palette. I'll show you the palette in a second. Um, so the palette I'm using is one just like this. I will link the Instagram, I got this from below. This is the other one. And I love these palettes. Um, and for this tutorial, I'm literally just using fake nails I got off of Amazon. So I am going to apply the marshmallow to every single one. I'm gonna put it into the lamp for 60 seconds. Oh my goodness, it'd be good if the lamp was turned on. There we go. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is add chocolate and mocha to my palette. Just put that on there so it doesn't cure. Mocha isn't really one that I see many people using. The main two that obviously you need are chocolate and glass yellow. However, you will see how I use mocha later on. So you've got those. Um, you will also be using jet black as well. So. Now that that's come out the lamp, it's cured. I'm just gonna grab a dotting tool and I'm going to mix these two together. So I'm going to mix chocolate and I'm going to mix glass yellow. I quite like a lot of glass yellow, so I just mix about half and half. So it looks like that. And what you will also be needing for this is, if I can ever find it, you'll be needing a round gel brush, which looks like this. I love, love, love this brush. I use it all the time. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is you're going to pick up somewhere in between. I'm gonna zoom for you so you can see. So I'm just going to pick up somewhere in between the two, mainly more on the glass side for the first coat. Put that down and then I'm literally just going to zoom you back out. Just like that, I'm just gonna go straight down. So again, pick up your product. And then put it in for 60 seconds. Then you're going to repeat the step. So once again, grab your round gel brush. If you need to mix a bit more, then do so. So it looks something like that. And then what you're going to do without curing it is you're now going to pick up some of that same product. So again, mix them if you need to. And you're now with the exact same product on the brush, if not a little bit more, you're just going to start to create your splodges. So. It really doesn't have to be perfect. Just like so. I love this bit because it really just starts the foundations for your tortoise shell. You can put it in any place that you like. Like I said, because it's still wet, it'll move. Use both sides of your brush if you want to. Sometimes I'm picking up more of the mid colour and sometimes I'm just picking up the glass yellow. So that's what I've got, like that. Put it in for 60 seconds. It comes out and you literally repeat. I'm just going to get out a more glass yellow because I use a lot of it. Okay. it once again and repeat the step. Okay, 
So, as you can see, it's got a bit darker this time. Just mixing a bit more in now, and I'm going to repeat the process. So, we're going to pick up that product, and you're going to go in slightly adjacent to where you created those marks. So again, if you want to add more glass yellow, like we did in the first step, feel free. What I'm doing now is I'm basically just picking up some of this. So again, now I'm happy with it. It really is starting to come together. Again, in the pictures. So on the next one, I'm going to be mixing these guys together. Let's add some more chocolate. That comes out, it looks a bit like this. So once again, repeat step, go in with a middle ground between chocolate and glass yellow. At this point, if you want it to be more yellowy, then continue with adding more glass yellow. If you want it to be more brown toned, then I would add more of the chocolate and the glass yellow mix as opposed to more glass yellow. Basically, you can alter its appearance depending on how much mix you use. Look a bit something like this. And then now I'm literally going to pick up a bit of mocha and chocolate. Maybe a bit glass yellow, depends on how I'm feeling. So you've got your wet layer again, and you're now going to just, again, still adjacent to how you've done your other blobs. Remember, try not to block those previous marks that you've made because she says blocking them, because you've done them for a reason. So gather your chocolate and your mocha together. So it looks a bit like this. And if you feel like you put too much in, you can always go back in and add glass yellow to almost like break it up a little bit. Or at least attempt to. So it looks something like this at the moment. We really have given it the opportunity to just... I've just added some random dots because I really love how it looks. Make sure you're happy with it and when you are, feel free to pop it in. 60 seconds. It's really starting to take shape now. So when it comes to this sort of like layering, um, I sort of give my clients the option. So you can either leave it like that as it is, which is quite light tortoise shell, or you can continue to build and build and build until you're happy with how it looks. So like I said, I'm going to go slightly darker. So one more same formula on once more. So once again, now it looks like this. So now we're going to go back in your mocha and your chocolate you're just going to emphasise some specific areas now that you really, really want to give emphasis to. Like so. You might be thinking, is this the last layer? Uh, no. <laughs> or I like to add the black dot onto it. So it looks like that. In for 60. And then for your final, final layer, you are going to be using black and you're going to be using, if you want to make it darker, your final slip layer. But you don't have to do this. You can literally just go in with black. It looks much darker, so beautiful. I'm loving the coloration. It's the best thing ever. So now I'm going to get my black. I'm just gonna scoop it up so it looks something like that. Now, like I said, you've got a couple options. You can either do another thin coat of like glass yellow 
combination on top or if you're happy with how it looks you can literally just splodge on So it looks like that. Obviously, if you want to make the splodges bigger, go ahead. I like mine quite small, but that's just my preference. And then put that in when you're happy with it. Now, it's come out. It looks like this. So pretty. I'm now going to move on with the top coat. For top coats, you have a couple options. So obviously, given that we've done quite a few layers, I don't know if you can tell from here, but it looks a little bit raised in areas. So we need to encapsulate because we want nice smooth nails. You know, I have some clients who like the texture and I go fair play to you and let them have it. Um, but me personally, I really enjoy having smooth nails. So I'm going to use clear. I'm also going to be using extreme shine tuck. Clear Builder is a great way to encapsulate and give additional strength to your manicure so I'm just going to apply my Clear Builder turn it upside down okay put that in for 90 seconds now all we need to do is grab some acetone and completely wipe it all so it's really smooth. Get your top coat. In it goes. And there you have it. Thanks guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more tutorials and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. My link is down below. See you soon, bye.